How to Paint with Tissue Paper. Boys and girls, today in class, we are going to learn how to paint with a special kind of tissue paper called bleeding tissue. But before we do that, write your name on your paper using a Sharpie, and don't forget to put your teacher's initial on the paper as well. Flip your paper over, and now let's wet the whole thing with a squirt spray bottle. Make sure every inch of that paper has wet water on it. Now the fun part. This is a special kind of tissue paper. It's called bleeding tissue paper, and I can't wait to show you what happens later. But for now, we want to place a square over the entire white piece of paper. Don't let these squares stick together. They do get a little sticky. Pull them apart to where you only have one piece on the paper, not two. Whoops, there was two. So place them one by one all over the paper. It's a nice contrast to have a warm color and a cool color be beside each other. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange, also pinks. Cool colors are greens, blues, and purples. Look how these warm and cool colors are really coming together. If you have lots of blues, add a little red. If you have lots of greens, add a little yellow. If you have a lot of purple, put an orange beside it. Now, once all those tissues are on the paper, get the spray bottle really close to them. We don't want the tissue to fly away and start squirting the tissue onto the paper. Get it really wet. So do a lot of squirt, 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 squirting onto that tissue paper you're starting to see what's going to happen. It's going to spread color onto that paper. Don't peel that tissue paper off though, it needs to dry. I still have some white space on my paper, so I'm going to come in with a smaller square. These squares have different colors than the larger squares. I'm going to add yellows and oranges and different blues in some of those white spots that are still on the paper, and I'm going to squirt my paper one more time. Fill in all the white space and get to squirting. Once you have those papers placed on, get your squirt bottle and squirt it one more time. This is important. Don't get any of those wet, uh, those tissue papers still in the container wet because we want to use those for different projects. Pick your paper up with both hands and take it to the drying rack. You can put it on the black rack and lift it up and put one paper on each level or place it on the white drying rack and you are done. 